Ayalaga is a small fishing village on the south coast at the far end of the Bay of Pigs. In the past, everyone here relied on fishing to maintain their modest livelihood. Now, for many, this is simply a supplement to their main income, privately renting rooms in their homes to tourists. We opened our home for economic reasons. It's good business for us. There are still fishermen who don't rent bed and breakfast rooms, but are still better off by selling fish to private lodgings who buy their fish and pay really well. The private sector in Playa Larga dominates the local economy. In the past two years, almost 200 families have converted their homes into lodgings, and many more are on the way. Until recently, these were simple fishermen's shacks. Now, most have been converted into private lodgings, catering to tourists. Here we have 10 rooms. Ten rooms. Enrique Rivas has the largest private lodging in town, and in a sign of progress, the state tourist sector is sending business his way. State-organized tour groups stay the night or stop off for lunch when passing through the area. The town has changed because of this rental activity. It attracts more visitors. We earn and invest more money, and our lives have improved. We also hire people to work for us, so even those who are not renting benefit. So what brings tourists to this fishing village some 170 kilometers from the capital, Havana? Part of it is history. The Bay of Pigs is where, in 1961, American-backed Cuban exiles launched their ill-fated invasion in a failed bid to overthrow Fidel Castro. Today, wildlife and bird watching are another attraction. Playa Larga is surrounded by the largest wetlands in Cuba, home to pink flamingos and dozens of other birds. Divers also come from around the world to discover the coral reefs with their abundance of marine life. All of which is proving good business for the local entrepreneurs, some of whom are now taking bookings well into next year. Michael Voss, CCTV, Playa Larga, Cuba.